dear all i would like to welcome you the discussion of first year basic electrical engineering question paper and with the uh, answer key uh, so far i have discussed up to eight question in the previous videos i request everyone to watch those videos first let us come back to uh, the video of this particular video after discussing previous videos so that you will be getting the connection and also i request you to note down whenever i am showing you the answer key and verify the answer also module 5 then question number 9a what is electric power supply system draw the single line diagram of a typical ac power supply scheme this is very important question for uh, basic electrical engineering ba from transmission and distribution how can we answer it i will be showing you what are the tips you are supposed to add in your answer book first of all you have to mention that electric power system comprises of power generation power transmission and distribution let's just like a flow chart draw the single line diagram you will be getting four marks it includes the voltage level like uh, generation at 11 kv then uh, transmission you have to mention with uh, primary transmission and a secondary transmission and also distribution also you have to mention like uh, primary distribution secondary distribution primary distribution for industry customer secondary distribution for uh, the domestic customers likewise you have to mention it very clearly and you can grab complete marks likewise you can plan for your university examination the second question was on tariff what are the desirable characteristics of tariff and explain two part tariff so you should know what is a tariff and uh, mention the desirable features how to write this do mention all the desirable properties of tariff like this proper return fairness simplicity reasonable profit art attractive you will be getting three marks two part tariff definition can be mentioned like uh, when the rate of electrical energy is Uh, charged on the basis of maximum demand of the customer and unit consumed is called a two part tariff please do underline maximum demand and the unit consumed and uh, there are two components like uh, fixed charge and running charge fixed charge is directly proportional to maximum demand in kilowatts and uh, running charge is directly proportional to unit consumed like uh, kilowatt hour so this is your equations correct likewise you can uh, plan your answer now what you are supposed to do is you can read the problem so similar kind of problem can be expected in the university examination in future as well so this problem is related to two part tariff how to solve this first of all please do write all the given data then there is an equation unit consumed per year is equal to maximum demand times load factor into hours in a year hours in a year will be 8760 load factor is already given 40 percentage that is equal to 0.4 maximum demand is given 200 kilowatts if you multiply you will be getting uh, a 700800 kilowatt hour load factor means uh, average load divided by maximum demand they have directly given no need to calculate annual charge will be annual maximum demand charges plus annual energy charges so you can multiply like uh, 100 rupees per kilowatt there are 200 kilowatts is the maximum demand then 200 multiplied by 100 regarding the annual energy unit charges like a 0.1 rupees so 0.1 rupees into 7080 which we already obtained the total amount will be 90080 then cost per kilowatt hour you have to calculate that will be equal to 90080 divided by uh, what is kilowatt hour total kilowatt hour 700800 you will be getting uh, 0.1285 that is nothing but 12.85 paise so very important question please uh, do similar kind of problem by referring the textbook of power system by v k mehta and rohit mehta that is a very good textbooks and you will be understand in the concept very easily so you can refer and solve similar kind of problem so regarding question number 10 uh, a explain the working principle of fuse and mcb how to solve this so you have to explain the operation of fuse with the neat sketch in that you have to mention definition circuit diagram then uh, material specification and uh, characteristics of fuse if possible draw the time current characteristics of fuse definitely that will give more weightage and finally mention that do and age you will be getting three marks you have to mention the operation of mcb definitely you will be getting another three marks mcb means uh, what is mcb miniature circuit breaker how does it work how does it make and break the circuit and applications likewise you can mention so that's about uh, this particular question please refer question number 10b it's related to the question on earthing what is earthing why earthing is required with the help of neat diagram you have to explain plate earthing do mention the definition of earthing the non current carrying conductor should be earthed the earthing will be through the earth electrode 
then uh, significance of earthing mainly for safety of operating personnel and the equipment it prevents the short circuit fire hazards etc and you have to explain the elaborated diagram of plate earthing with a suitable dimension explain the importance of plate earthing this is how the marks will be distributed there are eight marks total count will be eight marks write it effectively definitely you will be getting the full score now i would like to discuss the question number 10c in the question number 10 write a short note on precautions against electric shock at least a few precautions you have to mention six precautions is mandatory at least if you write any six precautions definitely you will be getting the mark so likewise you can able to plan it accordingly so this is the way how the answer key look like so let me uh, begin with the right from the beginning so far what we have done is by two uh, three or four videos uh, i made the complete discussion of the model question paper it is applicable for the first and the second semester uh, for the first year students of uh, those who are dealing with the uh, VTU and uh, it, it, it is suitable for other university also definitely syllabus will be almost similar however this model question paper I have taken as a reference this is a version 1 uh, there is one more version that also I will be solving and I uh, will be uh, explaining before that I require your comments do I want to go for any other modifications and any other changes to be done uh, depends on your suggestions I am going to modify ok so uh, module 1 uh, th these are the two questions uh, which I discussed in the previous videos. Even module 2 also I have discussed. Okay. Then module 3 also I have completed. Then came back to module 4. And uh, in the last session I have discussed about module 5. Module 5 will be including transmission and distribution. Uh, then uh, protective devices, earthing, etc. So these are the major things which you can able to adopt for your examination. At least uh, these points you, if you consider now. Definitely you can able to get a very good score. Let me know if you are having any uh, questions related to uh, how to answer the particular question. I think if you refer the answer key, definitely you will be getting a good idea. Uh, you can reach me through my mail ID which is given in the description box. Any queries or any clarification you can reach me, I can help you out. First, finally, I would like to thank you for watching this video and uh, I need your uh, suggestions. Let, us con let me conclude the session. Happy learning.